cold and frightening night for a local man after he was trapped in a 50-foot deep well in Queensgate. Minutes ago, Cincinnati officials announced James Collins is expected to be okay. Nine on your side reporter Bryce Onslinger has the details of Collins' rescue. This was the end of an hour-long ordeal for a contractor working to clean the bottom of a well at the Metropolitan Sewer District in Queensgate. He seems to be conscious and uh, uh, we're, we're very hopeful. The man was working with a crew cleaning the bottom of the well when a heavy section of pipe fell, hitting him in the back of the head. Piping is about uh, anywhere from 12 to 16 inches in circumference. And so if you think about 40, uh, 45 to 50 foot, it could be uh, at least 100 pounds or more that probably hit him in the back of the back of the head. With the victim injured and at the bottom of a 50 foot well, firefighters had to use special tactics to get him out. He was put in a special stretcher that was designed for uh, confined space uh, rescue where we could uh, move him vertically up the shaft and get him out. Four specially trained firefighters were lowered into the well to help with the process. Crews monitored air quality at the bottom of the well as others at the top used a pulley system to raise the victim to safety. The sewer district says the tight space, along with the slippery pipe, most likely led to the accident. We're very fortunate that it wasn't more serious, and we're hoping that everything's going to be all right. That was Bryce Hanslinger reporting. Now, it took about 40 minutes to get Collins out of the well, which the fire department says is quick work for that type of situation.